What is up, guys, and welcome back to episode two of How to Read Your Bible with Keystone Youth. So yesterday, or the last time we did a video, Joe gave you some reasons that we believe reading your Bible outside of church on your own is so good for your soul. There's an encouragement and a hope and a peace and a joy that comes from interacting with the Word of God. Now we want to start to give you some tools to help you to do that well, because we know that opening your Bible for the first time can be absolutely terrifying. And so the first question that people ask is, where do I start? And do I start at the very beginning? Do I flip it open randomly? What do I do? And so we've created some tools for you that will have a Bible reading plan with some suggested readings for every single series that we teach on this year at Keystone Youth. And so those will give you a place to start. And then the question is, okay, now I know what to read. How do I get the most out of it? And so we want to help you get the most out of it by using a tool we call the Daily Road. Daily, because we want you to be in it every day. And ROAD is an acronym that stands for Read, Observe, Apply, and Discuss. And so right now, I want to show you a little bit about what does it mean to read your Bible. It's not just reading the words, but how do I read it well so that I get something out of it. And we suggest that when you start, you have a Bible and also a notebook, a pencil, a journal, something to, to, to write down your thoughts as you go through. And so you can see here we've chosen Psalm 1, and I'm just going to read the first three verses with you now we're going to say Psalm 1 verse 1, how happy is the one who does not walk in the advice of the wicked or stand in the pathway with sinners or sit in the company of mockers. Instead, his delight is in the Lord's instruction and he meditates on it day and night. He is like a tree planted beside flowing streams that bears fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, it prospers. And so when you start to read, the first thing is you do, you just read the text, but then I want you to go back and reread the things that maybe stuck out to you the first time. And I noticed a couple of things. Number one is there's a language of happiness, delight, and success, like prospers, that, that makes me think, hey, I want that kind of life for me. Um, the second thing that really stuck out to me is verse two. So that not only do you look for some key words, but maybe find one line, one phrase, one verse, and and for me, it's this, his delight is in the Lord's instruction. His delight is in the Lord's instruction. And now you've zeroed in, not just on some key words, you've zeroed in on one phrase, one sentence that really captures your imagination and your attention and makes you start to ask questions about your own life. And so go to your journal, go to your page, and, and under the first section for the R, for read, begin to write out, not so you're not just seeing with your eyes, but you're also exercising with your hands, his delight is in the Lord's instruction. And that's going to begin to cement that into your heart and into your mind. And then you're going to come back in the O and the A and the D, and you're going to begin to unpack what does that mean in the text and what does it mean for my life? But for right now, here's what you need to know. Find a place to start reading. We suggest the Bible reading plans that we're sending home for you. Read the text, but then go back and read the verses that stand out to you, the words that stand out to you slowly. Mark them up, highlight them, write them out in your journal, and then you're ready to move on to observe. We'll see you next time.